in a more scientific term is everything you do reflects on the material world. And the material world, like the crystallization of the water, they can understand what you're talking about. So they'd have the ability to hear, ability to see, to smell, uh, to taste, to touch. It's just that they don't have developed so much, we call it evolution, right? They have not evolved so much to have that uh, features apparent. But think about our body. We make out of water, a lot of blood cells and all that. How do they work together? Right? This is something very interesting to read uh, if we develop out of these um, good books. All these things has ability to do it. And then when they accumulate together, so we are in, in Buddhism, we call it beings. Uh, more accurate thing is conditioned beings, conditioned existence. Who is not a conditioned existence? I am conditioned. I'm made out of blood, bone, flesh, and my flesh is made out of a lot of small stuff. The table is also conditioned beings. Table is made out of wood, fibers, and all the metals that works together. So everyone is conditioned being. That means if I can see and hear and touch, my blood cell can see and hear and touch. It's just the ability to do it is lesser. It's just the degree of doing it. So going back to uh, the water experiment, it, trying to prove it that uh, we should not separate our material world with our uh, psychologies, with our uh, spiritual side of ourselves, psychologies. And we should not just psychologize everything as well. Uh, everything should be connected, should be life. It's not just in your mind. Um, the reason why we do not have the ability to transform things outside is because our heart is not pure. What whole Leo Fan is trying to say in chapter 3 is that all these people who can accumulate up to 3 years or 5 years, for us, chanting Amitya for 3 years or 5 years, it, it will transform into uh, material changes, maybe in the form of going to pure land. So our energy level has improved, no longer bound by this lower frequency, we call it the human world. We're going up to the better world, which is higher frequency. <laughs> and just like a water crystal experiment, if, if people keep thinking bad things and the crystal will crystallize ugly, they, they, they tested it in the, in, the, in the 80s. They're still testing it in Tainan, uh, Pure Land Temple. They have an experiment. They bought million dollars set up just to get this uh, point across to the UN. So, <laughs> so the whole point is, if you want to change your material condition, you got to have to start from your heart. You have to start from the thought. And that thought first is very pretentious. Unfortunately, it has to be like that. You have to pretend to be good until you are actually good. Uh, in Chinese, like you act something that you want to be, the idealized version of yourself until you become that person. Uh, so same thing for us. Yes, uh, what Leo Fan say, you know, I might not be able to do, like especially San Lun Ti Kong, which is what we talk about, non-attachment to the givings. You have to do the givings, but you must not attach to the givings. There's no me who give, there's no you who receive, there's no things that were given. So these three things must be empty. Empty as in you do not have the concept attachment to it. You're aware, but you're not attached to it. So those are hard. Because we always think about, ah, oh, I give that person $10. Next time he owes me a gong cha or a bubble tea, something like that. But um, in a serious way, a, 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 a Leo Fan, if you want to make it alive, we must not take it in a textbook value. But we also must not attach to the idea of, you know, um, uh, yeah, everything's empty. You know, why, why, am I, why am I learning this book? And Buddha telling me, you know, go into, into emptiness. Then you misunderstood Buddha, you know. Buddha does not, if, he's, if everything is empty and should not do anything because it's empty, then why, why does Buddha come down here and tell you 40 years of the sutra? You might as well say, just, you know, aware of the emptiness, bye-bye. No, right? And he might as well just go ahead and say, just chant Amitabha for bye-bye. Unfortunately, we are not like that. We need understanding. Hey, what does it mean, sir? And then he's like, okay, if you want to know what it means, here's the sutra. He started with the Arhat. The Arhat sutra, because we're a Buddhist community. So Ahad Sutra is talking about this. Cause, effect, be good to your parents, be kind to you. Nothing, no good religion or no good teaching 
education leaves this one. So you can imagine our modern education, how far it has departed from humanities. So good luck to us. We still have 9,000 years of Dharma age, so a lot of hard work to be done. Um, going back to the main point, this is my um, uh, I would say. This is my uh, view, uh, not view. This is my uh, yeah, my opinion on this uh, matter. If anything is I say has um, going against whatever the teaching is, then please correct me if I'm wrong. 